In this demonstration, I'll be creating a dashboard using the Power BI service. Here in the Power BI service, the cloud online service in my web browser, I'm going to click on the bar icon on the left to open up the navigator. And under dashboards, notice it says you have no dashboards. So from here, I can click the plus sign to the right of that to create a dashboard. This first dashboard I'm going to create, I'm going to call it Client Spending. You can build as many dashboards as you want that have different visualizations, all with different names. And also bear in mind that dashboards are also viewable by mobile app users, whether they're using the Power BI mobile app on an Apple device or a Windows mobile device, like Windows 10 mobile, or an Android device. So I'm going to press Enter. So now my dashboard client spending exists. Of course, if I click it, there's nothing to display over on the right. However, interestingly, I notice in the left-hand navigator under reports, we've got a customer's report. And if I click on it, this report page has a couple of visualizations, a pie chart, a card, and it's got a map. I have the option of pinning the entire report page. It says pin live page. And when I click that, it'll prompt me to either create a new dashboard or pin this to an existing dashboard. However, notice that if you hover over each individual visualization on this report page, you have this little push pin icon. And for a specific visualization, you can click the push pin because sometimes you only want that specific visual element to appear on a dashboard. So again, we are prompted as to whether we want to pin this to an existing dashboard, and we've got a drop down list of them, or we could build a new dashboard. So in this example, what I will do is pin this to an existing dashboard that we've called Client Spending. I'm also going to do the same thing for the pie chart. So I'm going to go ahead and pin that to Client Spending. Now, if I click on the Client Spending dashboard over on the left, indeed, I can see the items that are available here. But we can add more than just that type of information from report pages. Over here for Dashboard Client Spending, you'll notice that we've got the option in the upper right to click Add Tile. When I do that, I can select web content, an image, a text box, even video. And down below, I can choose real-time streaming data. So for example, if I were to choose video and then click Next, then I have to specify the video URL whether it's on YouTube or Vimeo. Here I've added a YouTube URL for a Canadian business video. So I'm going to go ahead and choose display title and subtitle. And I'm going to type in Canadian business as the title. 